Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Craft Portal. And um, we're going to attempt to continue the video. Um, I think the problem was there wasn't enough storage space on my phone. And I've gone and cleared a whole bunch of things now. And I freed up about 2 gig of space. So hopefully that will allow me to record for longer. And... So hopefully that solves the problem. However, if this ends abruptly again, I apologize in advance. <laughs> right, I'm not quite sure what I've said, what I've not said. So if there's any questions, please feel free to, to give me a comment on the, on the um, comment section and I will try to answer it. Chances of me actually finishing this today is nearly zero. So chances are there's another video coming so I'll have a chance to answer all the questions all right so you you saw how I connected all the all the envelopes right with the masking tape and then I flipped it around and I did it on the other side as well okay so now I've kind of decorated the outside part already so I'm just going to show you from the smallest now I'm just going to give you a quick view and then I'll come back so you can see there. All right. Now what I've used here is I've used the wallpaper that um, stands out or stands up. It's called paintable. There was a mini disaster just now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, you know the the paintable wallpaper that sort of stands up. And um, I've basically used one sheet and then tore it this way and then started at the big envelope and then sort of worked my way um, over just sort of uh, attaching you know kind of have the theme run right through so there I started there so attached book pages and then a strip of the wallpaper and I inked it up a bit and then that I tried to sort of measure that I didn't do it right from the beginning and then started realizing later that this was a good way of of getting something continuous so I um, started there then went there then there and then, and then until it sort of ended and then I started one at the top again and worked my way there so this will ha get some decorations um, to come I've, I've um, selected some flower uh, like a washi tape stickers that I got flower stickers from that I ordered from Wish and I also got some um, same thing but some butterfly stickers that I selected or got out I haven't selected which ones so I was thinking of putting sort of a flower and a butterfly on each one so it just runs throughout the um I'm now busy on the interior side oh and um what I've also done is I've cut a few um little fabric strips that I'm now going to place over the over that but I've still got to sort of ruffle it you know like just ruffle it up on both sides those two sides that I that I got it from was torn already I tore that earlier so those are already torn but now sort of do that and then stick that there so um, we might actually want to do that first Mm, or start no I think what we're going to do is we're going to start on the inside and then because I mean there's nothing to learn there you know just stick it glue stick that's it okay it's not 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 that I can teach you anything there um I'm not a, a total over embellisher you know I'm not a person that sort of believes let's throw everything you've got at the piece of paper in front of you so I'm actually quite, I, don't, I wouldn't have said I'm a minimalist, but I think in decorating these things I am. <laughs> Alright, um, as you can see, I, I 
did this slightly different in the sense of the other side is sort of um let me give look for an example like that it's torn and then blended in but i've decided that this is way easier or rather i'll give you the pretentious answer to make the exterior and the interior of the um in folder look different i've decided to to put a different type of page on here and not tear it at the side so that there's a distinct differentiation between the outside and the inside of this ephemera folder how was that <laughs> all right <laughs> the truth is i was too lazy it's much easier doing it this way <laughs> you just put glue on stick it and then cut it out <laughs> it's way easier <laughs> all right um, so I've tried to sort of do the, the little flappies. Um, I got up to the fourth envelope, yeah, and I still need to do these. Now, my idea here is that I want to create pockets here now. So I've got a few, um, pages here, and I, th I have a few more that's not been, you see, those I've tore to make sure that they... You know would fit on the envelope however I, I'm thinking that that method is a lot easier now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach um, pockets on here and what I thought to do is to use these you know like paint cards like this is aura you and this is daisy roots and this is blonde tint okay so i was thinking of using these cards to make little pockets here at the bottom or um maybe more to the top and then as it grows because other then all the bulk is not you know like when when the envelopes roll up then this is going to be where the bulk of the um thickness is so if you can put some of the the things at the top it will make it a lot easier okay so um i think what we're going to do here is um let's have a look if i it's not going to exclude that in any which way i do that so let's do it this way okay so if we attach it there I'm just lining it up with the end of the envelope, yeah? And then it will line up there. I'm just going slightly, slightly in. So it's sort of inside the thing. And then I'm going to sort of just do the same from the top. And then I'm going to sort of eyeball the... And cut that off. Okay, let's see. Right, slightly skew. <laughs> okay, that seems to be okay-ish. Just going to cut out there. Alright. And then, um, I want to cut that top part off. Um, I need to line it up with something. There we go. I'm sort of in my mind's eye putting holding it against that envelope line where the two envelopes are connected right now um i kind of need to test this i'm not a hundred percent sure if this is what i want to do um sort of just test it out to see if if this is going to look like i imagine it would right now so there's going to be book page at the back and then we're going to attach that and then I've got a bunch of stamps and things that we can stamp on here yeah? um, I'm trying to not add too much extra bulk because obviously there's going to be things in here as well I quite like that I quite like that um, 
let's see so you've got that and then let's say you've got a similar thing there I think that's doable what do you think people okay I think I should just check whether I'm actually still recording it might still be worth oh yes we are wonderful we're at 10 minutes so we've doubled our um, original mark <laughs> right obviously I'm really slow because it's 10 minutes and I've done nothing yet all right so let's start with this okay um, we need we need um, there we go now I've got ink on my fingers all right let's ink this up I am um, I've put new ink in my thingamajig and now it's inking really loud really harshly although on this yellow it doesn't look too bad no all right um I also want to insert a little um <laughs> I'm doomed to talk in half sentences. <laughs> a lot of interpretation required, people, <laughs> when you're listening to me. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to sort of measure, because I'm notorious for getting it wrong. That's actually why I measure. You saw how I cut the paper. I'm just sort of like, do it. Okay, so that's 10.7 centimeters. So it would be 5.35, 5.123. And in the middle there. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of use that as a gauge. That little mark. And then I'm trying to um, line that up. There's a little line at the bottom of the thing. So I'm trying to line it up. And then I'm also trying to line it up to that line and that line. Okay, so firstly let's line it up there. Okay, and that's it. Let's do that and do that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do one, I think. Um, I'm gonna need some book page down here as well. Okay. I think I'm going to do one and then just sort of cut them out for the others and then I think just do a bit of decorating. Um, I'm really scared that the the timing on the thing is going to catch me again. Alright, so let's do that. Alright, so glue stick. Um, I found a, a recipe to make the, the glue stick. So one of my future videos will be making glue stick so make sure if you are going to follow me and going to come up to that video that you actually have these containers so make sure if you are using glue sticks or if you know people that are using glue sticks that you save up these containers um, I haven't found a place to buy them but I am in South Africa. I am not in America. Where you guys seem to be able to buy a lot of things that we are just simply not able to buy. Um, obviously we can buy them on international sites like Amazon. But the import cost or the shipping fees are just beyond ridiculous for us. And then you have to take the exchange rate into account you will hear this another million times from me by the way the exchange rate with American goods and even English goods are beyond ridiculous and um, truth be told we just simply cannot afford buying anything from overseas we do but you kind of really 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 want have to have it <clears throat> sorry apologies for that this is just one that I cut off from doing the other side so I'm just going to sort of measure it up 
and um, I know what I said with putting that more to the top but this is now kind of made my decision of where the pocket will go because I will put the pocket over the uh, sorry over the connection bit okay Alrighty, and I'm going to use the wet glue to do this bit. This is just wood glue, just normal wood glue. Which I'm also going to attempt to make, but this is a shop bought one, which I just decanted into a bottle with a thinner, thinner point. <laughs> People, by the way, sorry, I am not a native English speaker. So a lot of times when I talk, I'm actually translating in my head. So, like... Earlier when I was saying that connection, I, I still don't know what the right word is. It, it hasn't come to me. But now I'm sitting here and I'm saying, last, last. Because it, in my language, that connection is... I'm just checking that it's straight on the book page. You know, on the wording. Um, I originally connected it there, but obviously you can see it's skew. So I'm just going to slightly play with it. And then that skewness I can cover with the with you know making it brown so that's not so difficult so it doesn't quite stick all right there we go okay that one seems to be just slightly sticking up so i'm just going to put a little globby of glue there the um, wood glue has a thing whereby it sort of soaks into the paper and you have to allow it that moment to soak in before it actually catches and um, this paper is a you know like the paint paper it's not plasticky but it's sort of a more shiny paper so it has a lot less it's not as absorbable. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> In Afrikaans, that is a word. <laughs> Absorbierbar. <laughs> so my translation abilities is going to give you English-speaking people a whole bunch of new crazy words. If you speak more than one language, there's sometimes things that happen in your language and that doesn't happen in another language. It's sometimes really, really, you know, it doesn't translate. Like, have you ever thought what butterfly means? <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> like the word for a wasp in my language is a horse fly. <laughs> so it's, it's really funny. Okay, so let's go on to this one. And I'm going to need another one again. But now I'm thinking I would like the pocket to be at a different height. Or maybe I should just do this. And then I'm not restricted. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to cut this off just below the lowest words. And then I'm going to stick the bottom for no second. Okay, so I'm going to stick that part on, and then this part, and then my pocket can go there, where they separate, where the connection is. <laughs> All right, let's use the glue stick to get this one on. I wish I had these paper pads you know the paper pads that you guys in America buy so cheaply or inexpensively sorry cheap is also a word in South Africa we we have a few things that we say differently from the way that you guys say it and it doesn't have 
quite the same contextual meaning. I lived in Spain for a few years and I had a lot of um, friends from the UK. So English speaking friends from the UK. And um, there was quite a few things that we as South Africans say that doesn't quite have the same meaning in in the UK. And then I had a few American friends, not a lot, that similar things, you know, things that we say that doesn't have the exact same meaning. So in my language, or in our context in South Africa, even the English people, um, we talk about something being cheap, and that means it's inexpensive. It does not mean it's inferior quality. It absolutely doesn't mean that at all. That is never implied by assuming something. It, it's, it's more to say that it's a bargain. You know, it's cheap, it's a bargain. Rather than saying that it has any inferior quality to anything else. So, if I sometimes say things that offends or it's not quite the way you use it or whatever, just be tolerant. You know, talking the whole time whilst you're crafting is already difficult. Talking in a different language whilst you are crafting is a challenge to say the least. I'm not I'm not uncomfortable in English. I'm I'm very comfortable in English. But it still happens that I sometimes have to translate whilst I'm busy and not spontaneously just um saying the words that I would I think what I need to do is probably grab my brand new I bought this for my birthday. This was my birthday gift to me on my birthday. Really cool. <laughs> um, I'm 48, guys, and this is just way too expensive to buy. It's just really, honestly, too expensive to buy. And um, when it was my birthday, I said, Do you know what? I'm buying you. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. I'm just cutting now below the, the printed bit. Okay, so now we've got this. And now we need to measure the, the width. Okay, so I'm lining it up to the end of the envelope here. And... Just marking the end there and we're gonna put it in here and try I'm still really learning with this um, with this paper trimmer I'm not um, all good and comfortable yet on it but and how difficult can it be Ha <laughs> ha!